Okay, we're back here live inside the Cube. This is SiliconAngle.tv's Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events. This is a special broadcast, the Brocade uh, Technology Day, Analyst Day here at the headquarters in Silicon Valley. I'm John Furrier, joined Stu Miniman with Analyst with Wikibon, and we have Bob LaLiberté from ESG, another analyst. So it's an analyst kind of conversation uh, around what's happening here in uh, the software-defined networking, network virtualization, software-defined networks, soon to be software-defined data center. That's all kind of being kind of figured out by the marketing guys at this point. I'm sure you've got a lot of assignments on your desk now and, and research grants uh, to do that and figure that out. Sure. So first question is, where are we with the software-defined data center? I'll see VMware just rang the bell and put everyone on notice and uh, kind of shook up all the networking players. That's right. By essentially announcing what we all want to get to, which is faster, better networking. What's your take on that? So I think we're about to enter the age of software-defined everything. Um, and I think um, clearly it's a, it's a marketing term, and it's it's really trying to get organizations to move to a cloud-like environment, right? So to become more agile, more responsive to the business uh, by by actually implementing some layers of abstraction, right? There there is some characteristics of having something software defined. Certainly in the network, it's been pretty clear the ability to abstract that control plane, the ability to have a certain level of programmability. Obviously, as as networks continue to scale and grow. We need to have some automation and orchestration, right? So to eliminate those manual processes. And I think what VMware's done is, is be able to you know, take that to the next level and say, yeah, we need to, we need to go to the software to find data center. Stu, you and I interviewed Martin at Nasera at VMworld on theCUBE, and you asked some really pointed questions to Martin, and he was said, quote, Stu, I am passionate about changing the networking landscape. What's your angle, Stu, on the software-defined networking, and, and how does that relate to what Brocade's doing? Yeah, no, it's real interesting. Martin, I mean, banging on the table, you know, revolution. Revolution, going to change networking. Uh, and one of the answers that he gave that I thought was most striking is in the networking space, you know, we've got lots of protocols. And we've got, you know, there's, there's IETF, and there's IEEE, and there's, you know, the whole network consortiums. And Martin said, we have open source projects, and we have open standards, and there's you know, a place for both of them. And he said, I hope it goes open source projects. And we've had some people here on theCUBE this week uh, you know, uh, talking at Brocade that, you know, from the customer standpoint, some of the bloggers that are like, you know, open source is great, but I'm not sure if it's going to you know, take over networking. So Bob, I'm, I'm interested in your take. You know, <coughs> you know, we were talking uh, on the way out here that, you know, you know, six years ago it was the next generation virtual data center, and then it was cloud, and then it was software defined data centers. The standards go on, the new generation of products go on. You know, what, what's, 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 what's the same and what's different this time? So I, I think there's, there's some interesting differences, but the underlying factors for why an organization wants to deploy a solution haven't changed, and that they, they need to solve a problem. And so ultimately, when I look at the discussion that's going on with open standard or open source, when I talk to the, and this is probably clarify in the enterprise more so than the large service providers. But at the end of the day, they need something that's going to solve a problem for them. And whether that is open source, it's an open standard, or even if it's a proprietary solution, but it solves their problem, I think that's what, we're, what I'm hearing anyways today is that organizations are looking for. Now, software-defined networking has certainly opened up their eyes to a new way of doing things. And clearly, from all the research that we've done, data center consolidation, uh, multi-tenant data centers, things like that, that we're, we're seeing happen. Clearly the organizations are struggling to keep up with the network and be able to deliver services. So the ability to have a new architecture that might enable them to keep up with their server and even storage counterparts is something that they're definitely open to. How that eventually gets implemented, may have to, we may have to wait